Nice. Yeah, I mean, screw it. Why don't we just try it? Let's just see what we see, and then maybe if I find a trend, maybe if I find a trend, we go from there. Um, I assume, like, for example, I just, I want to look at one matchup real quick. Give me one second. I want to, I want to know what this matchup kind of looks like. Okay, so it's a loss there. You win the zeros, so they would have to shield first. Okay. Sure. Interesting. Yeah, like the hardest thing for this team is probably the fact that you're really not running a proper VIG counter, right? Everything on this team is technically a mirror match with VIG, so every VIG you run into, you have to just outplay them. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't seem impossible. Hey, or, or put them in the mirror, right? You can always put them in the mirror, too. And just be like, I just take your big out and we'll figure it out. Yeah. All right. We're going to try this. I don't know that this is going to work for me, but I'm going to give it a try for a set. And we're going to at least, like, see what we see, right? It is Zelda Eve, yes. It is Zelda Eve. It is a handful of hours before I can play Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, the chip owl and take a body slip. That's what I was thinking, Lapras. That's exactly the, the route I was thinking chip or get a shield and then eat their body slam and switch the biggest concern i have is them going to like two body slams and it gets kind of awkward but i don't know we'll see we'll see uh vig it's in the lead okay i am gonna string tears of the kingdom yes Yeah, I know. That's kind of what I'm thinking here, too. Because they have to uh, they have to shield in this matchup. Um, they're going to get another body slam. <sighs> I'm going to guess we narrowly survive this. But it's real dicey. Ooh, baby. Let's go. To get this off. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, one short. I think I'd rather hold the shield. I might regret it, but... Hmm... Yeah, it's feeling pretty good right now. Could be double bird, right? It could be double bird. Oh, I misjudged that entirely. I misjudged that entirely. Okay, well, uh, we're still ahead on some stuff, but let's see. And then let's see what's in the back. Oh, no. Ah, shit. I still think we can win this, but I really needed to get that body slam off. And now things have gotten awkward. I don't count Lapras. Not usually, but I messed that up. Oh, they're on obstruct. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay here. I guess a night slash from here could be lethal with the obstruct on. Oh, they have cross chop. No, we did. <sighs> that sucks. Mostly because I just, I just literally uh, wasn't paying attention and overtapped. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, mistakes get made. They obstructed me, Lapras. So my defense. Yeah, it is a weird, it is a weird move set. Agreed. 
Oh, CCO. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. I don't want to play CCO. <laughs> Thank you, AF Miller, for the reference. It's a goodie. It's a goodie. Ah, uh, CZO's not sniping anybody. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> it's more just uh, an irritation. Oh, that was a bit of a an over tap for me, but... I think we can tank a body slam. Just slap him real quick with this. Oh, rip. Okay. I mean, predictably, obviously, uh, you know what's up here, but. I'm guessing our opponent, I mean, I'm guessing CCO has another answer to VIG here. So um, we're probably in that awkward position where like we probably lose to like a knocked owl or something here. Hey, look, it's a knocked owl. <laughs> There are some things we can do. Not exactly sure what my game plan is here, so. Oh, I mean, it doesn't matter much. I think we're in trouble anyway. They're going to immediately swap. They get a discharge off. That means that we need to get a shadow ball and a sky attack on them before dying. And so like, I need to go over out there. We still might be able to do this. Because I'm pretty sure they, they threw on schedule, right? So we should outrace to a sky attack here, I think. We do. Okay. We got him. Hey, we uh, we defeated the villain. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. CCO is not a villain. CCO is good people. Believe it or not. But that was uh, definitely pretty awkward at the end. That was definitely pretty awkward at the end. <sighs> Jesus Christ. As I sort of said, uh, Vigoroth format, like like this format, I mean, this team is... Mm, but the thing that's kind of nice here is that all your Pokemon have play against everything. Right? All these Pokemon have play against stuff. So, like, you always have a chance of winning games if you find a way to win the game, right? Um, I think we just stay. Hey, Red Kill. How are you? You play to win the game. Thank you for thank you for that reference, God. Too saying this cup is balanced. Uh, the thing I would say, Luant, based on uh, looking at the meta and stuff, I think the cup is balanced but that doesn't mean it's diverse or fun right there's definitely something to be said about the fact that like a format can be balanced but not necessarily be a good format right 
that's absolutely a real thing that can occur. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't want to get, like, payback. That'd kind of suck, but... I think they're just going to body slam me. Just like, I'm going to body slam them. We are up a shield currently, which is nice. Question is, do they have double body slam right now? And they might. Which is kind of why I'm like a little hesitant to shield here. Yeah, we're actually gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna shield, and then I'm gonna get out because I think we've got pretty good value still there. And we can just eat that eat that move there. Oh look, it's here again. Our problem is that I just think the health remaining on our VIG is not going to be enough to really, like, let us do what we want to do. Oh, especially if that happens. Yeah, they're going to have two body slams. <sighs> so, so very close there. That's so very close there, right? Bummer. Okay. Sure. The one thing that's a little bit kind of a, a bummer about this um, is that, like, there is no, there are no freebies here. All these games are going to be hard. AJ, if this doesn't look fun to you, you actually don't like playing PvP. You know that, right? <laughs> that's the thing I know why, why it's not fun for me is like, wow, I actually don't like PvP that much. <laughs> like... All of these matchups are interesting. Every single one of them. You have outs to beat all kinds of stuff. Your plays matter the whole way. There are no brick walls. I did get three balled, but every Pokemon on that team had one HP left. Every single Pokemon on the team had one HP left. We were one fast move away from winning that game. Instead of getting three balled. It was pain because I got outplayed. I got outplayed, and I came one fast move away from winning the game. That's not pain. That's just disappointment on my on myself. You said you said it yourself. You just came in. You don't you don't you don't know what happened in that game. We'll nug this thing before uh, they either have to burn a shield to get a sky attack off, which they're not going to do. We'll go into a, a big mirror, but that's fine. I should win CMP because my vig is dog shit. So not, I'm just disappointed in myself, mostly actually too. And I know I'm safe to shield this and either farm it. Um, or throw my body slam on schedule to make sure they don't get one. Yep, we'll throw. I'm a little low for this, but, you know, knowing that I'm going to win CMP, like... And their back bond is Obstagoon. Perfect, okay. It's fine. The question is, are they doing obstruct cross chop again? <laughs> okay, no, they're not. But the math said that the, the way we lose this game is shielding the first move, so... 
I think uh, the safe thing to do is not shield it. There we go. All right, GG. Got it. We should be three and one in this set, but unfortunately, uh, we misplayed that first game pretty badly uh, by overtapping. So, same team, I think. That first game was the same team. But yeah, I mean, the thing is, is so like, again, very, very, very rough first impressions. Obviously, this is not a terribly diverse meta. Uh, I've seen basically Knocked Owl Vig on every team with a few spice picks here and there, and that's not diversity. The upside is, and I, I always say this about Vig metas, Vigoroth is a Pokemon that doesn't hard lose very often, especially not in this meta. And so if your team looks like this, every game is gonna offer you a lot of opportunities if you can generate energy or advantage. Um, so Stunfisk again, okay, well that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's that's the uh we beat cco running that okay but uh hmm i don't know that we have a great matchup here to try and steal this but it's probably not impossible to steal it And we know Wild Charge won't kill them from here, so I kind of need to at least... I mean, landing a Wild Charge would have been better than not there, but I think what we do here is we just say, nah. Yeah, uh, I beat CCO literally uh, like two minutes ago. Oh, come on. We should have gotten a move there, but bullshit. Yeah, I beat CCO in this set. Running a team that looked basically identical to, to this, so. I know what my game plan is. Two Shadow Balls basically kill a, uh, a Fisk, so. Okay, I take that back. Two Shadow Balls don't kill a Fisk. Yeah, it's the exact same team. It's the exact same team. So how do we win from here? We got to put enough damage on their, uh, that sucks. We got to put enough damage on their stun fisk that, uh, a shadow ball can kill them. We also need to get a shield. So we're in a, we're in a bit of a jam. We're in a bit of a jam because I need a lot to go my way from here. Oh, no, I was, I was trying to threaten bulldoze, but I should have been counting better. Um, a body slam here might have been enough to flip this, but unfortunately I just kind of gave them this game. Yeah, you can have this. GG's. We're not winning that. We're not winning that. All right. So good news, bad news. Uh, the good news is um, we were in all of those games. The bad news was we managed to lose a couple of them that we should have won. Um, hmm. What did we see lead-wise? You know what? <laughs> the thing I really want to do. Um, I want to lead Pylos Wine. I just do. I just think it's... Uh, I just think it's going to be really pretty darn good. Our whole team is technically weak to fighting here, but like... What isn't weak to fighting here that's actually good? <laughs> what do we want to... Is there anything you want to play Vigoroth into that's actually, like, not terrible for you? Like, I quite literally cannot think of anything you want you want to play Vig into. 
or don't want to play like it just seems like it's just terrible we just play the mirror right we avalanche and uh like return Gligar. yeah that's true yeah but who's running a bomber who's running a bomber also can't you just run why would you run return why not just run the regular set i guess earthquake doesn't offer well oh because the birds right the birds i'm surprised people are running a bomber that seems that seems crazy to me but um yeah oh right 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 yeah 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 I don't even have one of those. I do have the Gliscor though, which is an interesting, uh, an interesting option. I'm gonna try this with us just planning to play, planning to play Vigmirs if we need to. I just, I mean, like I like the idea of having something that really threatens, like really threatens Knocked Owl and Stunfisk, which are Pokemon that we're seeing a lot of. So let's try it, and I'll find a way to beat. I'll find a way to beat uh, the counter users, I guess. I'll, I'll figure something out. We also could stay in an avalanche of, of Vig. That's a real option, too. But let's just see what we... Let's see what we see. Pilot Swine, Vigoroth. Of course, we see a Vigoroth uh, in the first match as the lead. Hi, opponent. Uh, not sure what's happening to our opponent here, but it seems bad for them. <laughs> it does seem bad that they've stopped attacking. Uh oh. Pidgeot? I don't love that. I'm wondering if they're double, uh, if they're double bird. This feels like it's going to be double bird, right? They're taking a moment to admire this one. There you go, pros. I'm not shielding this. If they're going to brave bird me, it's like fine, but that's not going to be what they do. Nobody fucking brave birds outright. Oh, okay. They died anyway. I guess the the second bird coming in here would be kind of annoying, but I'm playing this like they have a like they have a bird back there, and so uh, we're gonna just come in. Oh no, they have. A nine tails, an ember shadow nine tails. Oh, uh, the fire type is unexpected. Wasn't really expecting a fire type. That's not great. Puts us in a real awkward spot, right? Although we got this body slam off, so I think we're going to be fine. We got the shield and the body slam off, which should put us in a spot where I can actually <laughs> kill the Vig with my uh, Pilus Wine. Thanks in some part to the fact that uh, that lag spike at the beginning just left our, our boy with a lot of HP. Yeah, I think our opponent has given up, which I don't blame them. GG's. Okay. Unfort for our opponent, but we will take our, our W. We'll take our W. And hopefully we'll find a better lead because literally I didn't see any Vig lead. I think I saw, oh no, I take it back. I saw one Vig lead last time. I was hunting the Knocked Owl and Stunfisk leads that we saw two of each. What's up, Ash? Hello, hello. How are you? Dr. Dan Dongus. All right, Dan Dongus. Pile of swine. Ah, 
Haha, <laughs> another man. Another person of real, real quality. Magmortar, Karate Chop, Shadow, Magmortar. <laughs> oh, baby. That is a, certainly a choice. Um, do we shield this? Okay, sure. We're going to come out of this with a bunch of energy, so it's the Reddit team. Ah. Pile of swine, mag mortar, and something then. Shadow Blaze? Oh, darn. That'll be... Shadow Blaze actually will just be a massive problem for us, though. Like, I actually don't think we can beat a Shadow Blaze, I guess. Like, yeah, I think we're just dead, right? They have two shields and a Blaziken. So, how do we beat this? Our whole team is, uh... Oh, yeah, our whole team is weak to this. Um, yeah, I just don't think I can. I don't think I can beat it. I the, the counter damage and everything is resisted and or like low damage. Yeah, like this is neat and all, but like we're never powder snowing through this thing. All right, fine. I mean, I guess we're never beating any kind of like double counter, triple like I don't know. It's not double counter, but. I'm just never beating this thing up this many shields. It's fine. I don't think it matters what we do here. I don't think it matters what we do here, so I'm just not going to do anything, but... Okay. I guess I shouldn't have shielded the... Uh... What's it called? I guess I shouldn't have shielded the, uh, the Thunderbolt. But whatever uh, also we're not hitting any of the leads i wanted right this is where i wanted knocked out in fact like i think i'm gonna go to a more balanced team here because i think we're just so soft to what's happening that like i think i might actually want a bird back here i think i might want a bird silly as it sounds i'm just gonna i'm gonna play around yeah, you're supposed to run Stone Edge. I mean, you can run any of the nukes, but... Hey, Dan. GG, friend. Not a team combo. Not a Pokemon I'm going to beat in the back. But also, like... Fuck me, man. All of these teams have suddenly... It's like, what if everyone leads Vigoroth this set? So, we made some assumptions about uh, how things might look after the last set. And they don't look that way. And that's disappointing. Uh, so we're going to Avalanche and shake off a Body Slam. And then I'm going to switch. And we're going to see if we can make something happen. I'm fine with that. Okay. Fun. It's a shiny knocked owl. You love to see it. You love to see it. I can definitely tank a sky attack, although it's ugly. But I think I don't want to be down shield, so. But I do think I'll get to these two body slams, and that's the thing that matters most to me. The funny thing is I don't even really want to kill the Knocked Owl per se, but I think I have to. I don't think I have the luxury of... Oh, that's nice. That shield's great for us. Come on. Oh. Hmm. You know what? I think we keep the shield. 
as bad as as bad as it kind of feels. I think we keep that shield. Pidgeot. So our opponent does still have their, uh, they do still have their uh, Vigoroth alive. They have their whole team alive, but they switch. I think this is a, I think this is a feather dance. Oh, they actually went for it. Oh my God. They did it. They fucking did it. Okay. Is everything low enough that I can kill it? Uh, no. I misjudged the lowness of the Vigoroth. Although, I think we just killed it. And then their other Pokemon is alive, though, right? Their, uh, bird. Oh, no! Ugh. Alright. I shouldn't have switched. I, I got got by the mechanics. I thought I'd be able to get in and get that counter in, but instead I just took the damage. Yeah, no, nope, that's just me. That's just me forgetting how the game works. Yeah, I denied myself the counter. It's fine. Whatever. Hmm. Hmm. I've not been terribly impressed with Pilus One. We've yet to put Pilus One in anything that it can actually threaten. Because. Okay, well, this is a great lead. We found a good lead. Finally. Okay. Um, we are going to do the same thing here, which is uh, either get a shield or, you know, put ourselves in a position here maybe where, like, this thing is behind a shield or has taken a lot of damage. Um, we have two really good counters for the... Uh, for the glide score so i can do that and then come in here and just sort of like ride the fact that we uh are up a shield to win this pretty easily try and maximize the amount of energy we uh we generate here like, I know this thing's coming back, but, like, <laughs> fine. I do have a little bit of concern that, like, I've taken too much damage, but... Especially if they get a boost here. That would be... That would basically be... I don't want to say game-ending, but it would be pretty bad for us. Uh, that's not awesome. Uh, of course, as soon as we pivot out of, like, the team that's got a whole bunch of, uh, yeah, whatever. I, I think we're in trouble here. We pivoted out of the team that had all of the, uh, options for counter users. And now we're seeing all kinds of shit that would have been great. Like, I'd love to put a double or a Vigoroth on this thing. But I do not think we can win from here. We got absolutely, absolutely burned again. None of this matters. None of it matters. I should probably just, I should have conceded already, but it's all right. I'll let them have, I'll let them have their fun. I'll let them have their fun. I'll let them have their fun. Um, yeah, so I, I I did a thing, right? I, I pivoted a bit. I'm starting to feel like the pile of swine is just too feast or famine. It's not, it's not neutrally good against the field. And so what we're running into is a lot of matchups where it's like, God, I mean, what do we even do there? I like that plan. I like the plan our opponent was on there. Which was more about like, essentially what they did was they used the, they used their vig to bait out the opposing vig, and then they, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try that with the pilot's wine though. 
Although if the team's unbalanced, then you run into trouble, right? Hmm. Yeah, I can't quite find anything I'm I'm really liking in this. Okay. We've got a knocked owl mirror. Same plan, right? The hope here is that they're not double counter or some kind of double fighter, right? We're hoping to open the door for our uh, our pile of swine here to be good. That's kind of what we're looking to do. Keep parity, remove the biggest danger to pile of swine, hope that they don't have something like a, uh, what's it called? Uh, another fighter in the back, right? I also kind of know that my VIG is going to win CMP over opposing VIGs, generally speaking, so. I r was running earlier at Endcraft. I've not seen anyone else running that team. So. It could be that. Or it could be something absolutely not that. We'll have to wait and see. Boop. It is that. First time we've seen our opponents running this team. We ran it for a set earlier today. The good news, though, is actually uh, this is not a matchup we mind necessarily. Can wild charge me? Let's see if they double wild charge me. Nope, there's the body slam. That's fine. Because I'd love to catch a wild charge on my uh, on my pile of swine. That's kind of the uh, that's kind of the dream. I'm not gonna lie, but I think if they're gonna wild charge me, we just let them. We got them low enough that I don't think this matters. And the knocked owl does have. Yeah, that's fine. This thing has a. This thing has a move. It almost has two moves at this point. So I'm a little bit nervous about. The amount of uh, damage it can output. Let's see what a sky attack does. Yeah. We're going to have to shield one of these. The problem is I'm worried the double has a body slam. And I don't know. I have such a bad count of what our opponent is at right now that I just, I can't, I don't feel comfortable farming this. They have so much energy over the span of two things. So I'm just nervous about that. But one, we might survive a body slam. It's possible. And two, our knocked out is still alive. So it's still possible. Yeah, we're good. GG's. It's still possible for us to win that game with that without having to try and farm and all that. Like, you know, we're okay. We're okay.